they can either be referred from community alcohol and drug services, they can be referred by a GP, psychotherapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, um, or self-referral. And they'd contact our outreach team and um, or phone in for an interview and they'd have an interview. Um, then they'd come and visit the community if they were if they if, it, if the the outreach team thought that they were ready to come into the therapeutic community, they'd probably come in for lunch, have a look around, see if it felt like it was going to be okay for them. It's the community, is the method, is the heart of it. So it's the, it's the entire community, staff and residents, who work together to create an environment which promotes change, challenges each other, um, uh, rewards each other praises each other, acts as a micro-community. We, we think um, the Narcotics Anonymous because in, and Alcoholics Anonymous and the other um, anonymous groups are, are a fantastic, the most successful um, self-help groups ever, ever formed. They, they began all the other self-help groups around, so we know that they work. And um, having people go to them and get used to them while they're in treatment and getting another community around them is absolutely vital for recovery because it's going to be the ongoing support. Getting people to take more responsibility for their lives, getting them to get up in the morning and you know prepare for work, um, cleaning their rooms, uh, cooking their breakfast um, um, and then basically giving everyone a job function and whether it be in the gardens or in our workshop or kitchen um, or they could be a house driver but almost teaching them what we just take for granted and do every day. A lot of people don't know how to be in a group, what it is like to be in a, in a, in a group around a group of people or living with a group of people so that first 42 days is learning how to be in, in, in the therapeutic community itself and how to work in group, how to give feedback, how to take feedback from other people and then identifying the issues that, that, uh, that they're going to need to work on.